Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, like I said every time, that uh, uh, what is our uh, what is paramount to us now is to see the unity of the People's Democratic Party. If a party is united, then we are sure of hosting whom. Uh, 2023, and not just the national election, also Plateau State, knowing fully well that Plateau is a, a PDP state, but somehow we are not longer in power in Plateau State. And it's one of the states we have identified there are some issues that we think that we have to resolve uh, for that to unite and work as a team against uh, the, the 2023 general elections. So uh, this is a former governor and a senator. Uh, a senator, of course, uh, one of the generals who have had in the army, who are the great leaders in this party. And we believe that if two of them agree and which we have started, they would, they would don't expect that everything will end uh, today. I can tell you that uh, it's wonderful that two of them have agreed they will meet on their own and compare notes and share and they will later meet. By the grace of God, I can tell you that uh, if, uh, PDP will bounce back and plant you state. So that, that's the fire we have got here. Yes. Yes. How is it tenable given the seat type of feature of the ruling party? Well, it's not a question of seat tight, uh, it's a question of the people. Uh, if the people uh, are saying that you have not done well, there's so much hunger, there's a poverty, in, uh, insecurity has pervaded all the do's and crannies in Nigeria. So it's not a question of uh, seat tight. They have no such a choice. It is the people that will have choice to say, do we still want you? And it stands today. I don't think that if you take the census of uh, Nigerians, it's not propaganda. That will tell you that they want this APC government to still remain in power after 2023. So, but first of all, we have to put ourselves together. And that's what is key. If we put ourselves together, then we will be helping Nigerians. But if we don't put ourselves together, Nigerians will not help. We will not be happy with us because that means we are allowing the ruling party of uh, the, 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 the maladministration to continue to be in power. Nigerians can forgive. PDP. And that's why each and every one of us must make sacrifice to see that our party is united. And that is my own concern. Uh, without a party that is not united, what is the as you really want to run election? What are you running election for? You have, you have an empty ticket. And so uh, if we put ourselves together, uh, people, our party have will have materials who can who can lead this country. So I don't think the issue of who becomes the, 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 the flag bearer of the party is, is important now. What is important is how the party can, can unite and at the appropriate time we look forward to pick one of, one of those who, who I believe uh, is qualified to lead a party in that 2020 election. So the two uh, the leaders who were able to express their own views so that you know what I'm saying, it is correct or not. We agreed to work together to ensure the unity of PDP on the plateau and ensure the victory in 2023 elections. Not only governor, but all other elections, federal or state, we want PDP to take its rightful position again on the plateau. And this is what we are going to work on. I want to thank uh, His Excellency for coming to talk to us and uh, we have agreed that uh, we'll continue from here. You're welcome. For finding time to come to us and talk to us and also promise to sit with us from now on until our promise so. And the two of us have been friends. I saw my colleagues, Jan, we never thought we will cooperate with him to make sure that the problem is solved as quickly as possible.
Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.